Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, March the 20th, entitled, My Image. Now, Sunday morning we were talking about bigger than my body. We were talking about how we view ourselves and uh, whether we uh, feel like that we are healthy or not. Uh, as we begin to take a look at that whole understanding of body image, that healthy is not about a look, it's not about a place that we need to get a, a certain body size, but it is about being healthy. And I believe a healthy self-image really has three components. The first one is how our body image or how we view ourselves. Uh, the first one, which is probably the least important of all, is how we physically look. Do we like our appearance? But Quite honestly, our appearance really doesn't give us any qualitative value. We may like the way we look. We may not like the way we look. But there's really no value in that. It's the other two components that really make up a self-image that, that is anchored in our true value. Now, the second thing that we look at is our heritage. Where do we come from? What uh, resources and what strengths are ours because of the heritage or the lineage that we have. There are a lot of people who might not consider themselves really good, really attractive, but they know the character of their family, the history uh, that uh, has led them to where they are, the values they drew from their family, the ability to uh, get identity because we have a rich family heritage. Now, the third one, I believe, is the one that we have the most control over, and that is our own personal integrity. For me, in my life uh, in general, uh, I believe that the most attractive thing about me is not my face. I'm getting old, you know, and I'm losing my hair, and I got this big bald spot in the back of my head. I mean, if my appearance is going to be something that I'm going to try to lay hold of for the next 20 years to get me through, I'm in trouble. Uh, my family heritage is not, you know, pristine. I mean, uh, except for my heritage in Christ. And we're going to look at that here in just a second. But the third one is my integrity, who I am, who I present myself to be, the type of friend that I am. That makes me, uh, that can make me more attractive than even my physical appearance to people. They may, uh, you know, think that, you know, a person in their prime, you know, is really attractive or really beautiful or really handsome or whatever adjective we may get. But as we walk along, I believe it's the quality of our character that is going to cause people to either say, this is a person that I really want to do life with. This is a person I desire to be like isn't just going to be on my appearance. It's going to be things that are deeper than that. Now, let's take a look at a couple of passages. The first one is in Genesis 127. It says, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. My heritage is not my father and my mother specifically. I thank God that my mother loved me and cared for me. And I thank God for some of the strengths that my dad gave me, even though he struggled uh, in his own personal life. But my greatest identification, my greatest understanding of who I am is that God created me, that God knit me together in my mother's womb, and I am fearfully and I am wonderfully made, and I don't believe God makes junk. I believe God fashioned John McClendon together just the way he is to be able to do things that would bring glory back to the Father like we talked about yesterday. And I thank God for everything that I have. I'm not the best looking guy on the planet, but I'm not uh, without the image of God. I have value. I have worth because of my heritage, because God is my Father. And the more that I understand that loving relationship that God has for me, the more character and the more strength I find in myself. The third one is what God is doing through me. He is developing character. He's giving me the ability to have uh, qualities about my values, about my willingness to help others, about my where I put my emphasis on what is important and what is not important. And ultimately, the character of who I am as a man of God. Those things are way more attractive than just my physical 
appearance. And so we read in 1 Samuel 16, 7, it said, The Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at the appearance or the height or the stature, because I have, not re because I have rejected them, speaking of David's brothers. For the Lord sees not what a man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And that really is where the true beauty of who we are comes out. What is our heart? What is our character? Who are we? Who do people find us to be? Not what is our appearance. People have often said beauty is only skin deep, but ugly goes straight to the bone, right? There can be ugly people with beautiful facial features. We want to be the people that have the quality of beauty all the way down. That's the reason Peter said in 1 Peter 3, 3-4, three do, uh, do not let your adornment be external with the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry or clothes that you wear. But let your adorning be a hidden person of the heart with imperishable beauty of a gentle and a quiet spirit which God cites are very precious. Our character, who we truly are. If we want to be beautiful forever, for the long haul, for the rest of our life, we have to put less importance on our physical appearance and more importance on our character and to recognize that our heritage is we are a child of God. Focus on those things and we will have a great self-image. We will be be truly beautiful. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I want that that is beautiful about me to be the things that will never fade with age, that can never wrinkle, that can never get age spots, that can never go bald. That, Lord, it would be my heritage that I am a child of the King and that it would be the quality and the content of my character. God, let those things be that that mark the beauty that is in my life. And, Lord, let it be so for every one of us that our beauty would emanate from the inside, from a heart that beats after yours, from a quality of the character of who we are that shines through and makes beauty every age, and whether wrinkled or losing our hair or even in the prime of our life with tight, uh, beautiful skin. Lord, that you and your quality would always be the greatest beauty that we have. Let that mark our self-image in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, let that beauty be your beauty, be your image. And I'll see you tomorrow.